Here are three things that I find to be challenging about owning the Galaxy Z Flip 6. First reason is not specific to the Flip series itself, but to Samsung phone in general. If you get any water into the charging port, it makes it very hard to charge. Whether you're showering and water just hit it a little bit, or sometime I'm brushing my teeth and I get the port wet, you cannot charge your phone at all. I know this is meant to be a safety design. I know back with the Note 7, they had exploding phones, battery and all that. But I feel like other phones do a better job of getting the water out or not make it too strict but i don't know maybe it's too seal tight whenever a little bit of water get in it kind of just gets stuck in there for a while so as a result you cannot use your charging cable at all to fast charge your phone so that means you should invest in a wireless charger if you do not have one problem with wireless charging is the charging speed is much slower than the wired charging so it's really inconvenient especially your phone is dying you don't have a wireless charger laying around you have to scramble and find one and i find this happen with all galaxy phone but this is something that did happen during my brief time of having a galaxy Z Flip 6. I had it sitting on the side while I was showering, water got in and it just became really annoying. I had to run around the house look for a wireless charger and if you are wireless charging it gets awkward if you want to use your phone and it's sitting on a wireless charger you have to hold the charger up or leave it there as you're using it or kind of just walk away but just something to consider even though these phones are water resistant when you do get some water in there it takes some time to get out and it's really hard to charge the second challenge of using a flipping phone is it's really hard to use with one hand i don't care what anybody say i know some people can get really good at it it does take work and effort to open up the phone every single time i don't know maybe get better with time i've been using flipping phones for for many years and it doesn't get easier it, it takes work you have to like dig your finger into the phone and pry it open and flatten it out or you can once again you gotta dig your finger in and flick it out style but this is definitely not good for the screen in the long run my wife had a galaxy z flip 5 she did not do any flicking mechanism like me and her phone screen broke after half a year so i'm still really hesitant about the durability of these phones i know samsung does thousands and millions of tests but i still experience a broken phone and even samsung themselves they guarantee a one-year repair program Program. So either that give the customers a little bit of peace of mind or is just Samsung protecting it there behind because there is some durability concerns there. But regardless, just unlocking this phone and using it is really hard to do. Even when the phone is closed, me just picking it up, I have to, depending on how it is positioned, your finger doesn't rest on it naturally. I feel like I always have to reach a little bit further just to unlock the phone. And even when it is open, I still have to open up the phone, which is one step. I got to slide my finger up to tap the sensor. It doesn't naturally rest on that. I remember back in the days, some of the Google Pixel, there was one point where a bunch of phones had fingerprint scanner in the back. And I think that works really well because your finger just naturally rests right on top of it. You don't have to like move your finger around to look for it. With the Flip 5, I'm all with the Flip 6. <laughs> Pro didn't slip there because it is basically the same phone as the Flip 5. But with the Flip 6, yeah, you still have to reach around, look for the fingerprint sensor. You can also do face unlock, but I find that the fingerprint sensor sensor works better than the face unlock sometimes the face unlock doesn't work or i didn't realize it worked <laughs> so something to keep in mind if you do get the flipping phone be prepared to look around move your finger around doing some searching just to find the unlocking fingerprint sensor sometime and the third thing that is challenging about having a flipping phone is using the main camera this phone is meant to be used as a selfie or vlogging camera when the phone is closed you can quickly launch the camera and then you can just basically record yourself using your main camera this is a big benefit because on, on any other normal flagship phone out there if you want to take a selfie or preview yourself in the middle of recording you're using the selfie camera and a lot of time that is the inferior camera with the flip 6 you can use your main camera as a selfie or vlogging camera at all time and that is a huge benefit but on the flip side no pun intended if your phone's already closed you're walking around you see something cool you want to take a quick picture of it you kind of have to unlock your phone open it and then take a picture. So that's an extra step. You may or may not miss a photo because if you just double launch the camera, then it's just gonna be in a cover screen mode and you gotta turn your phone around. It gets awkward. Just something to keep in mind if you're considering about getting a flipping phone. All right, those are the three challenges that I have when using this phone and just flipping phones in general. I mean, of course, there are many other challenges and benefits, but overall, it's a fine phone. Just wanna hit on something you should be aware of before buying a flipping phone. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to like to subscribe. Let me know if you have any thoughts, questions, concerns in the comments below. I appreciate the time as always and see you guys in the next video.